Well, hiya. Uh, this is my workshop. Um, the beginning, we'll call it, because it's a bit of a bloody mess, uh, like my hair at the moment. And um, I thought I'd put on some things on YouTube uh, for a first time ever, because uh, everyone else seems to do it. And, um, well, speak, look for yourself. This is the state of my workshop, if you can call it that. All right, it needs major tidying up. I've just built um, triple bunk beds, which I did put on YouTube actually, that no one watches. Um, I can't get anywhere for my tools to go. I've just built the conservatory, orangery, and that's all the cladding. As I say, I can't get to anything in here. There's so much junk, everything ends up in here. And I just want it all cleared out so that I can get on with making stuff. So over the next few weeks or whatever, in amongst juggling all the kids during the Easter holidays, I will try my hardest to get this hellhole mess sorted and get a nice clean gleaming workshop and then hopefully someone will come along and say, you need a new tool and send me nice, loads of nice tools. Thank you very much. <laughs> I dream. Okay, right, well I'll get on with it and I'll put another video up or continue this video when I get a bit further. Wish me luck. Right, what did you say? <laughs> yes. Sort my workshop out because this is the state of my workshop. A hellhole. With a Land Rover roof and bits of props. Only held up by a bit of strim. Can't get to my saws properly. Even the lawnmower is having the trouble to get out to cut the grass. So if you're interested in watching what the hell happens with this workshop over the next few weeks, I will be tidying it up. <laughs> I'm not a professional, <laughs> as you can tell from all the crap I've got. Um, but it's a makeshift workshop. I've made triple bunk beds out of it, which I have put online, which no one ever looks at. Um, but however, I've only used this at the moment to build that conservatory orangery which I'll put photographs up later if anyone's interested um, and this is my workshop from the outside I'll show you there's two bags of tour dust I've just swept up with the fire going and here's my workshop without windows well one window so I've done all this patios someone spilled coffee down there there's the conservatory and amongst all the kids it's a bit of a nightmare but as you can see I need help okay I'll post some more when I get a bit tidier thanks for watching so far well I've been at this about an hour now and uh, it's pretty bad um, what I have worked out though, is that one of the things I did a while back was I built, um, hang on, let me put on the other camera for you. Right, yeah, I built this um, stand, makeshift stand, so I could move this grinder about. And all I find is that I move it about and keep falling over it. So when I do get all this and all this and all this, I've started clearing one big bag of offcuts hundreds and hundreds of little tiny bits of composite cladding all the offcuts that's without the three bags of dust um yeah i will be mounting that on a bench somewhere because it gets on my right on my nerves um i was going to swear then but i won't uh yeah so still a massive amount there's my tv this was a box with a tv in it which was about two weeks old and my little girl decided to throw a toy straight through the screen and um, of course it wasn't covered by the guarantee so we have a 50 inch screen TV perfectly working all day apart from the screen great but that's my life right back to the workshop tidying it is just never ending and I broke my broom and that's a budget. But there you go. 
Where's my tools? Oh yeah, um, well I've been at it about two hours now and um, I found some of my tools but I've still got I'd say a tenth done and another 90% to do Well, I've got a little bit done. I can actually see, start to see the floor now. Um, started to get the sides clear a bit. Found a few of my tools. Um, but as you can see, I'm still inundated with all that lot. And all that lot down there. I mean, there's an old computer, Apple computer case there. I was gonna make a coffee table out of one day. Um, I just don't know where to begin. There's just so much stuff. I've got stuff in that corner that I ain't seen for about 10 years. Um, so I really want to find it and see if it's still in any sal salvageable state. Uh, yeah, so there's still loads to go and I can't wait to get a proper roof on this um, and be working in the dry. So, we're getting there.